Hello everyone. Forget about any other palm oil rice recipe that you have come across. This particular recipe I'm about to share with you guys is the best. Like this is the most traditional recipe that when you try it, you're going to love it. I remember my mom teaching me how to make this and whenever I cook this or whenever she cooks this, it's a go-go for all of us in the family. So today I'll be sharing this recipe as my own entry for the Mieza flavor fiesta so relax and enjoy this awesome simple easy recipe so to make this simple recipe you need few ingredients you start by adding some red palm oil into a pot and to that you add in your chopped onions okay you can use as much chopped onions as you want because that's going to give your food a very nice taste so after adding your chopped onions you go in with some salt please your salt should be according to the quantity of rice you want to prepare then next you go in with seasoning powder or you can also use seasoning cube just don't use too much just to give it that perfect taste you will go in with some roughly ground crayfish and fresh peppers after adding that you're going to stir this thoroughly just that everything is going to mix in so so well so after mixing that you're going to go in with our authentic traditional flavor the calabash nutmeg after adding the calabash nutmeg you go in with some water okay so when you go with the water you're going to stir this and cover this to boil a little bit but before then i tell you to add in my leftover african sauced but more i have uh, this has been in the refrigerator or the freezer sorry for some time now so it has frozen and since i don't know what else to use it for i decided to add it into this um rice i am cooking so after adding that i had to you know cover it and let it boil as it starts to simmer i then had to wash my rice uh, to wash your rice you're going to boil the water add some hot water into the rice and add a little bit of salt then wash the rice after washing the rice you raise the rice thoroughly before adding it into the sauce that you have made already so once you add your rice into the sauce make sure you stir it so that the ingredients will mix with the rice thoroughly before covering the rice to cook So as the rice starts cooking, you need to monitor the rice at intervals and see if there is any time you need to add extra water. And once the rice is almost cooked but not thoroughly cooked, you're going to add in some um, bitter leaf and some chopped scent leaf. You're not going to chop this bitter leaf because you may choose to remove it after you are done, you know, preparing your rice. Because I know some of us will say, ah, why adding bitter leaf? Oh my God. But if you add this bitter leaf, oh god you're going to understand the taste that this bitter leaf is going to give to this dish like it's going to give you the amazing taste ever the blend of the bitter leaf taste and the scent leaf taste is a bomb okay so once the you add the bitter leaf and the scent leaf you're going to stir everything to combine add a little bit of water because the rice is not completely cooked then you cover this and let it cook again so once the rice is completely cooked you may choose to add any of your choice i said to add some boiled um eggs like two boiled eggs and i added extra scent leaf then i had to stir everything to mix so so well okay so once everything is thoroughly stirred and you know mixed well my rice is ready like it's so simple to cook and with just little or less ingredient you don't need a lot to you know waste your time on okay like if you are looking for a low budget but tasty christmas rice to enjoy this is for you so don't complain again that oh this christmas i don't have a recipe that i can prepare for my family this is a bomb try it and everyone will love it so thank you mieza flavor fiesta for giving me the opportunity to show my traditional culinary skill so see you guys in the next one bye bye